What it do YouTube, my name is Barry Witness, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Anthem. And Anthem's a weird topic around this channel, because I really do enjoy the game. I actually have defended it um, numerous amounts of times, talking about how it's got a really good combat system and all this type of stuff, but I cannot help but notice that Anthem is probably, for the first time ever, one of the games that I've noticed that it has tried to come back from the brink of destruction, trying to work with the community in certain ways and trying to fix things and really trying to show the community that it's being heard and things like that, but at the same time simultaneously finding the, the need, the desire to put its foot in its own mouth. Now, through Poor, poor, poor communication. The whole community was under the impression that the Elysian chests that were going to be uh, added into the game this month were going to have armor in them. Now, it doesn't. We actually got this confirmed recently that there will be no armor inside of the Elysian chests that are dropping later this month or by the end of this month. We've been very misled, or as feels a lot of the community, that we've been we've almost been told you know there there have been live stream comments that implied armor sets as well as other things now when he was asked about it directly ben irving said my bad here i read the question as when can we earn vanity in anthem as opposed to when can we earn four there are no armor packs in the elysian chests or elysian caches but there are a lot of very uh, uh very custom vinyls Arrival animations, victory poses, and others. More details coming. Yeah, this is not this is not okay. Uh, the whole community was led to believe that there were going to be a lot of different cosmetics and vanity items inside of that. And as much as I love emotes and uh, arrival entrances and things like that. We've been running around in pretty much the same armor. There's not been a lot of different armor choices inside of the marketplace and things like that. And the biggest frustration comes from when we were told about the items and the customization in the game um, on certain live streams. They showed a lot more customizations than what we got at the start. We got literally one other variant that we could purchase. And aside from that we uh, there's been there has been at least one item for each class uh that showed up in the marketplace uh there's well there's been a, a couple more actually since then since the start of the game but still when we saw the initial live stream that had all the customization options guys we saw that there were going to be at least six different variants of armor for each uh javelin and then after that when we got to the actual game, that was even excused because they mentioned Elysian Chest and they were actually mentioned, the Elysian Chest were first mentioned in response to somebody asking, how come we don't have any cosmetics? Therefore, a lot of the community thought that we were just going to get them from the Elysian Chest. Now, the problem I have with this is that for you to put the armor only inside of the, of the store, the in-game store, which yes, granted, you can get the currency for... Um, not the easiest thing to come by obviously why would they make it easy I mean for a lot of people it is quite easy to come by if you're grinding that hard but you have to think the Elysian chest and new content were going to bring a lot of players that decided to leave for a while i.e. myself and others in the community that got were a little bit disappointed or getting a little bit bored of the lack of content inside of Anthem's endgame that they went to the division or other games you know Apex Legends Fortnite any other game that you you know might want to play and they were trying to come back to it with this update you know I don't know about uh, a lot of other people but I definitely know for me that was one of the things that was going to get me to start playing again and I was very very excited about it but now there's really there's really nothing in there for us and there's no way that we're going to have enough uh money for the ability to purchase them from the store so you have games out here like the division you have games out here like warframe both of those have free uh custom cosmetics and and things like that as well as other rpgs that and i know this game's not an rpg but we're talking about looter shooters fine you can put warframe in that fine you want to add looter shooters that's cool too we'll put in borderlands that's a game from 2012 that still has tons of customization options yeah be it that it's mostly colors and things like that but there's still a lot more customization inside of games like that even on old gen consoles that we're not getting here and that's kind of the problem i'm facing is that we have little to no cosmetics we have little to no in-game and we're not seeing much improvement 
I, I, and I, I'm not trying to be harsh on the game. Don't get me wrong. I, like I said, I still enjoy the game. I love the combat. The combat system. I, I always go back to the combat system because it's almost the most refreshing thing I've done in literal years because it is such a different uh, flight system. The flight systems, the combat system, all of it's so much different than I've played before that it's kind of what keeps me playing it. Um, not because the game is bad, but because of just the sheer lack of content. There's just not that much to do except for the same strongholds and the same free play. And right now, there's not even the incentive of getting enough loot. So when they change the, uh, the loot system, I will definitely be returning to that game, but I'm kind of wondering what you guys are thinking right now. Did they make a good decision on trying to put the uh, armor packs in the store? Because, um, you know, I, I don't know who anybody who would think that, but I definitely want to know your opinion on the situation. So make sure you guys are commenting down below. If you guys did not, make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my Anthem videos. And with that being said, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I hope you guys have a nice, wonderful rest of your day. Peace.